A milestone day in the battle over gun control. The House has just voted to ban semi-automatic weapons for the first time since 1994. KKL 9's Amy Johnson live in the newsroom with more on the controversial bill and the long road it still has to become the law of the land. Amy. Well, Juan, before they go away on their summer break, Democratic House lawmakers sent a message on where they stand on gun violence in response to the rash of mass shootings this year. But Republicans claim the ban is unconstitutional and will do nothing to stop the shootings. By the slimmest of margins, 217 to 213, the House has passed an historic assault weapons ban. I'm excited today because for a long time now I have wanted to reinstate the assault weapon ban. It comes nearly two decades after the last assault weapons ban of 1994 expired. House Democrats have seized on the issue following a series of tragic mass shootings. We've turned our churches, our schools, our shopping centers, our entertainment venues, almost any place into a battleground. This bill would do little to prevent the mass shootings or the crime they're saying that it would. But Republicans have accused them of playing politics, especially since the bill is not expected to pass the evenly divided U.S. Senate. This is yet another attempt from the left to strip law-abiding citizens of their Second Amendment rights. House Democrats had hoped to link the assault weapons ban with other safety bills, including funding for police. But Speaker Pelosi says those votes will take place mid-August. Overnight, the Congressional Black Caucus and a small group of House moderates reached an agreement on terms for the police funding measures, but they'll continue to negotiate until they can craft final legislation. We've been flooded with so many bills that people have, so we need to, shall we say, we have to have the bandwidth to deal with all of them. Speaker Pelosi says she's hopeful the House can also vote in August on the Senate Democrats' reconciliation bill, which intends to fight inflation and lower prescription drug costs. And the bill is expected to have a tougher time in the Senate where more Republicans are needed to support it. I'll send it back to you, Susie. All right, Amy, thank you so much.